Yeah. Um, moving forward, man. Moving forward. Because uh, he was going to be in the main event of this show we're about to talk about. Crown, crown Jewel. Jewel. Crown Jewel. We definitely got a, a, a glaze over uh, the Crown Jewel um, as far as, you know, people people say, you know, people are talking about boycotting. People are talking about saying they're going to do this, they're going to do that. You know, uh, what's your take on it? First of all, before I, before I give my take on it, I'm going to ask you, what is your take? You know what, Brad? I need you to be totally honest with me. I don't need you to try to sugarcoat this thing. Or I don't need you to try to stick your <laughs> no head in the sand in. and try to run away from this thing. Tell me your, your true honest feeling. Um, well, you know, obviously it's talking about the controversy with the journalist over in Saudi Arabia. That was kind of the, the, the what got this conversation started of canceling the show. Uh, should WWE cancel it? Um, I was always kind of a tale of two cities on it, but I, I thought that they should always they should have gone forward with it like they did um, I know it's a weird situation. It's a sticky situation. At the end of the day, they're a company. They're out to give a show to their fans, right? And, and their fans around the world. And I think that WWE is, is, they, they're doing that. They're going to do that. I think they're making the right decision. They're going to take a lot of cr- criticism and controversy because of it, as we've seen. But, uh, I think JBL said something that I thought was interesting. And Randy Orton kind of echoed the same sentiment. And, and whether you agree with it or not, I think that there's validity to the statement. And that's if you, you know, I remember there's a song by J. Cole called Let Nas Down. And he said, you know, he was up, Nas was upset with J. Cole because J. Cole went pop and he sugarcoated things, right? Yeah. yeah. And then, and, and J. Cole said, I let Nas down. But then he said, I told Nas, sometimes you got to play the game to change the game. Hey, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of what I see with WWE in a little bit. I mean, it's got its flaws, Saudi Arabia, as far as we're concerned, definitely, our culture definitely. compared to theirs. Yeah. It's got its flaws. But just like WWE did in Abu Dhabi, where they had the first women's match and the, and the crowd is chanting in English, this is change. I think you have to, you have to sometimes go into these territories that you don't particularly agree with, but you gotta try to. You gotta try to go out there and affect change in any way possible. We've seen it happen in sports so many times. I go back to Jesse Owens in the Olympics, yeah. uh, you know, the, you, there's so many things that have happened in the world through sports and entertainment. So many changes have happened. So that's why I always thought WWE should have kept forward with the show like they have. Well, I mean, like like, it's, like you say, people are going to always talk. They're going to always, you know, say things, um, especially now since we've got social media and people can be so vocal. You know, they, they, their opinions can be heard, you know, at the, a drop of a hat by the, uh, the click of a button. You know what I mean? So, um, Trust me, I understand. But but this is my take on this guy. This is Booker T, five-time WCW champ, um, six-time world champ, um, 35-time total champion. Uh, the, the, Hall of Famer. The, the, Hall of Famer. King of King. Uh, champion of champion. The, the guy's done it all. He's done it all. Uh, so so You, you, you pop John Boehner in there. <laughs> <laughs> He's very happy with you, 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 you can writing bank, down the stats. You can bank on this right here, guys. This is a business decision, okay, first and foremost. Um, when, when it's a business, when, 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 it's, a, when it's your business, you're going to think, you know, what is right for you know, my company right now, what is right for us as a business? You know what I mean? This is, is this is money on the table. Should we um, take it or not? This is not a political uh, agenda or anything like that. Let's, let's take that out of the equation and not look at this as a political agenda. Um, uh, first and foremost, if it was your company, you know, let's not tell someone else what to do with their company. If it was your company, what would you do? You know what I mean? And, and the thing, the qu- and the thing is, you can answer that question unless you was in that position. Yeah. You re- you really could not answer that question unless you was in a position. You know, if 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 it's um a billions of dollars on the line and and and, and it's um something that that's going to make my company grow, um and it's not hurting anyone, it works for you. It works for me. You know what I mean? So that's the way I look at it uh, from from a business perspective only and and I and, and with wrestling I don't I do not think you can bring politics into the fray when it comes to professional wrestling. I've gone to the Middle East um since Trump has been in office and uh, people love me. You know what I mean? I, I had some of the greatest times. I mean, treated me I'm talking about red carpet. I'm I'm talking about, you know, a five star. I'm talking about, you know, made sure I was protected in, in all of this. So I I don't I look at it from a different perspective. I, I look at it because I've walked it. Um I, I've seen it up close and personal with my own eyes. Um uh, are there flaws uh uh in, in other countries? Of course. And and the thing is, 
I, I can almost guarantee you, you know, you know, we wouldn't be going to Germany if we, we thought, you know, um, you right, know certain right, things, you know right. what I mean? Uh, seriously, you know what I mean? If we, if we held Germany account for what happened in, in, Almost in the years. Hey, I'm serious. Yeah. You cannot think like that. Um, time moves forward, not backwards. And that's just the way I see it. So let me ask you this. It is a very, it's a very simple question. What, it, what, why does someone start a business? It's to make money, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I 100% agree with your point. I mean, if you're a money-making entity and you have money on the table that can benefit not only you, but everybody who works for you, because I'm sure... And I, I, don't, I didn't get to see, you know, the, 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 the bank deposits, uh, you know, for, for the guys when they went to Saudi Arabia on, for the greatest Royal Rumble, but I'm sure they got paid rather well. well I mean, I heard Jericho even say, you know, when well, I saw the money, like, I said, absolutely. Like, like you said a second ago, um, the WWE universe is vast. You know, it's, it's, they got fans it's, all over the it's world. Very, it's very wide. The show is, you know, already being reported to be, being sold out already. Those are WWE fans. Now, look, so, so we, so we should punish the WWE fans, you know, um, for, for what, the, for, for, for how the government treat, uh, uh, the people. I, I just, I, I don't see that. You know what I mean? So I think, I think WWE going, um, and doing the show, uh, I think that's going to bring about change. I think, um, WWE is making more change than any governmental official. Um, um, out there, just just you know, talking and making a lot of noise. And, and what the hell was that journalist doing over there anyway? Um, you know, after his controversial, you know, yeah, yeah, I, you know, I don't know about that, and I want to stay away from it to be honest with you. But but I but I think just, you make no, no, but you I make a great point. No, I know, I know. You make a great point though. You make a great point about depriving fans. Yeah. Um, that's like saying, you know, say, you know, football, uh, English football, soccer, right? It's big over there, right? Yeah, in, yeah. The, in Europe and in, the, in those other countries. But there are fans here in America who love European soccer. You're, what the kind of point you're making is there are probably people over there in Europe that don't agree with the politics of the United States. Yeah. That doesn't mean they should deprive the, the English football fans, uh, uh, here in America of seeing their favorite team play stateside, right? Is that kind of what you're saying? That's there? exactly what I'm saying. I just think it, the, the issue is bigger. I think wrestling is, um, universal. Uh, wrestling is universal. Um, no matter where I've gone around the world, you know, I mean, they didn't need, they didn't need to speak. Um, we didn't need to speak the language. We didn't need to know how to communicate on that level right there. But when we went out there and performed, we went out there and, and gave that crowd something that no one else could give them. You know, um, just like the last time we went, you know, to Saudi Arabia, um, those fans were off the hook. I mean, they're like 70,000 uh, oh, people. Oh, man, there. I mean, it was rabid in there. I mean, and, and that wasn't because it was a political statement or anything like that. It was because those fans were there having a, a great time watching the WWE superstars do their thing. So I'd say uh, we got to break away from the politics on, on that for a second. I think um, – um, it's, it's always going to be something. Let me let me play the the devil's advocate Twitter right. fan go, online go right, go right who's either listening to this or going to listen to it and say, well, yeah, of course Booker T would say that he's just towing the company line. What would you say to those people? Yeah, it's got a lot of people who say I'm a, I'm a company guy. That's what people you know? say. They like to throw that tag on you. Well, I, I, I could tell you this: if it was reality of wrestling, you know, right now, you know, I'm I'm trying to work a deal to get reality of wrestling, you know, to, to go over it and do some stuff. It's a business decision. It has, you know, my being in the business uh, for 28 years, it's been a, a, you know, business. That's it. It's not. You it, looked at it like it's your job. It, I put my my suit on and my tie every week, and I and I go to work and I come home. I, I don't I don't bring it home with me or anything like that. I go and I do my job. Um, does that make me a company man? Maybe okay. If it if that's what makes me a company man, I'm a company man. Right. You know, if being on time um, makes me a company man, okay, I'm a company man. You know, if, if okay, if you guys need me to go, you know, do PR and uh, own sale um, on whatever day, um, if that makes me a company man, okay, I'm a company man. I I get a check in the mail every week. You know what I mean? It is because I go to work. You do you know your job. I mean? And do my job. And like Ernie Ladd said back in the day, do my job and do that job well. You know what I mean? <laughs> Actually, he said, I'm big enough to step on some toes and do that job and do that job well. See, so, so that's my thing, man. Um, this has, you know, uh, this show right here, Heated Conversations. It has nothing to do with WWE. This is not a WWE show or anything like that. But, but um, when it comes to dollars and, and, and making sense, um, just, I look at it like this. 
I could say, uh, you know, this is not my, you know, political belief or anything like that. Just, I don't have a dog in this fight or anything like that. Um, you know, I could say, let, let's, I'm going to walk away from this deal. I'm not going to do it. Um, or I could take what's behind door number one, a, 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 a hundred by hundred foot room with money stacked to the top. <laughs> I'm taking the money. Okay. Because. That, you're a business. Because of a business. No other reason. That's your only goal in a business is to make money. To make money, as well as to entertain my fans yeah. around the world. Those fans are, are are just as good as any other fan. I don't care if who's in Cleveland. I don't care if who's in Los Angeles. Those those fans that that pay their their hard earned dollars. Those, those fans that 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 buy the merchandise and and, and, buy, and play the video games. You know and represent. Uh, those guys are just as big a part of the universe as anyone else. And I just don't think they should be deprived. I think politics has, has literally blown this thing out of the water. Yeah. And, but wrestling has always done pretty well of, of staying apolitical, right? Don't you think so? Course, I mean, it's always course. kind of been separated and it's never, and it's even like, even backstage, I know that there's political conversations that are had, but nobody judges anybody any different because y- y'all know that you're there to do one thing, one thing only, your job and entertain the fans. It's not about anything else. You know, if it was about anything else, I wouldn't have been around. Um, for me, um, when I came to work, it was about doing one thing, entertaining, giving the fans exactly what they wanted to see on a weekly basis. Go out there and, and show them how it's done. Uh, and, and hopefully um, at, at the end of the day, they're going to go home and go, wow, man, we had a great time tonight. Um, we had we had a whole lot of fun tonight. Uh, and, and the thing is, I'm sure all of the fans over there, they're going to leave saying the same thing. Man, this was so awesome. One thing that I, I realized about people around the world, um, I don't care what you at, man. People are just people. We all literally are the same. Our feelings are, are literally uh, correlate with each other. Our, our blood flows, you know, in the same direction. You know what I mean? So don't think that it's any different for a kid over there than it is for a kid over here. It, it's no different. Don't think that they don't have their ghettos, you know, over there, just like they got over here. You know what I mean? Don't think it's good. Not good. Don't think it's just going to be the royal family. Um, uh, part of that seventy thousand people uh, in enjoying uh, that that one night, you know. So uh, that one night uh, could turn out to be, uh, you know, the biggest thing that you know one has ever did. So big props, big props to uh, WWE for sticking to their guns and not just backing down for political reasons and whatnot. If people boycott, you know, uh, I'm sure people going to boycott. I'm sure people don't like what I'm saying right now, but that's the way. It is. All right. <laughs> well, so many people like to be outraged online to be outraged. Yeah. They like, there's, you know, and so I'm sure you're going to get some flag for it. I'm sure WWE is going to get some flag for it. But at the end of the day, I think that what you're saying is absolutely true. No fans are different. You know, everyone deserves to be entertained the same. 